Chris, we're here at Mazak and you're doing a demonstration here on the J500 yes. and you're using um, circle segment cutters. Circle what are these cutters? Okay, yes, yeah, hello. So, um, yeah, circle segment cutters are uh, a type of cutter that's designed to significantly improve cycle time in a five axis machining operation. Um, so, here I have a, a, a what's called a barrel cutter. Um, and this is used really to replace a conventional ball nose tool. So whereas a conventional ball nose um, cutting tool may have a step over of 0.2 millimeters, something like that, uh, this can actually utilize five axis machining technology to step over up to two and a half to three millimeters. So it's a, an 80 to 90% cycle time saving. 80 to 90% are huge figures. Now, is that on all materials, on all applications? I mean, we, I see the demo here behind us, and now the, this particular demo piece, I would have not associated barrel cutting with this kind of component due to the depth of the pocket. Yeah, sure, so it, it, it is application specific, um, but, it, but it's suitable for a wide range of applications across all materials. So typically we see this utilized in uh, aerospace components, medical components, general engineering, mold and die. Ultimately, Chris, um, productivity gains is the main uh, purpose of yes. these cutters yep. for fifth axis yep. machines. Now, with this coating, is this suitable for all materials? Yeah, so um, this is a coating developed by Onsrud in the USA, uh, the, the manufacturer of these tools, LMT Onsrud. And uh, yeah, it's a, a coating suitable for a wide range of material across many different applications. And we're, we're aiming to, to maximize tool life with this coating where possible. With materials and touching on materials, are the pro productivity gains the same on all types of materials? Do you see the same productivity gain? Uh, it's, it's difficult to answer that really because, as I say, it's, uh, it's very application specific. But, uh, but yeah, the, the, the coating is, is designed to, uh, to maximise tool life across that, that range. And regarding applications, I'm presuming it's predominantly finishing applications. Uh, roughing and finishing, um, I mean, yeah, uh, you're, you're right, predominantly it's, it's developed for fine finishing um, processes, uh, but the, the demo that we're running here today, we do demonstrate that it's, it's suitable for a, uh, a roughing and finishing application. So the, the lens tool that I have here, um, we utilise this as a roughing application and then come back in with the barrel tool to finish. Chris, we hadn't touched on the lens cutter yet. Now, from home, the people looking at this interview will look at this and just look at it. It looks like an end mill, yeah. um, but you've got a large radius at the bottom. Can you explain how this gives uh, productivity gains from Absolutely. this tool? Yeah, so the, uh, the cutting geometry and the, the technology of the cutter, the, the theory is the same as the barrel cutter, so it's all about increasing the step over, um, step over rates. So you're right, it's, um, it looks similar to an end mill, but in actual fact, uh, I don't know if it's able, you're able to see, but it, the large radius makes it similar to something like a high feed cutter. So as this is moving over the, uh, over the part and over the surface of the part, the, the chip thickness is, is much, much less, and therefore we can increase the, uh, uh, the step over and the size of the chip. But yeah, it's actually a large radius across the top of this cutter, and, and again, it comes back to, to just trying to increase the, the amount of um, uh, distance of the step over to um, decrease cycle time. Now, um, for the people at home as well, you know, if, if, if you were using a ball nose previously, um, you probably only used the, the bottom part of the cutter. Could you potentially utilize this cutter and you can also get, have side, use it for side facing operations? Yeah, so the advantage of using this over, um, over the traditional ball nose is uh, a couple of things really. So with, with, in conjunction with the five axis machining um, strategy, uh, you're actually using, uh, you're not cutting on the center of the tool. So with the, the center of the tool with a traditional ball nose cutter would, would have a surface speed of zero, um, you know, technically. Uh, because we're not, we're not cutting on the center of the tool, it means that um, we, we can improve machine quality and, and decrease cycle time and all those other things. And would you need software packages to um, you know, make these strategies work? Yes, yes, so it does need a, a five axis machine to start off with and a, a CAM package that supports five axis machining, yes. And, and just to summarize this, Chris, you know, we, we, we see 80 to 90% cycle time savings with the barrel cutter. What about the lens cutter? Uh, the same, it's the same, the, the, the same benefit, yes.